Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth. So welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing great and I hope you are subscribed because if you're not subscribed, you're missing out on so, so many things and, you know, good things, great content. And yes, yeah, so please make sure you subscribe and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. And yes, let's change the African narrative together. So my mission is actually to showcase, you know, the African YouTubers. And this time around, it's a little bit different, uh, but it's all the same going back to our roots and knowing who we are. So we're going to react to Miss Trudy's uh, recent video, which is I traveled 138 kilometers to surprise my grandmother, emotional. So just to let you know, I started watching this video, but then I had to stop. So I don't know what's going to happen at the end because I thought to myself, wow, this uh, could be an interesting video for you to watch. So let's get straight into the video. Let's go. I'm surprising someone who's really, really, really special to me. 140 Kenya shillings. Good guy, that's big. Yeah. I think the worst thing you can have uh, when traveling is like, you know, puncture or but So that's why it's very important, especially when you're going on a long distance. Traveling, uh, you need to service your car first. You, that means your tires, you have to check your oil level. Uh, you know, you have to make sure that, you know, your your tires are stable and stuff like that. So just before you travel, because you never know, you know. So, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Uh, so Miss Trudy speaks Swahili. So from what I know, uh, I know she's half Swahili and half Luo, I think. Um, so it's interesting just to hear her speak Swahili, uh, Kikuyu with an accent. So <laughs> that's really, it's really cute, really. <laughs> Like and subscribe, please do. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. I hope you're doing amazing. Me, I'm doing amazing. So as you can see today, I'm so happy. Well, well, it's because I'm surprising someone who's really, really, really special to me. And that person is my grand mother you guys it's been a while since i saw my grandma I miss yo guys i would love to have this hair color for a long time now i'm just like just preparing myself psychologically because it's a color that um that i think would suit me but i'm i don't know i i i would love to have that uh you know that reddish color and so let me know in the comments below do you think i should try or do I stick to my blondish, you know, because that's my, that's my best color, actually, if you don't know. So let me know. Should I try it or not? <laughs> her so much. And she's my only grandmother who's alive. You mm. know, like all my grandmothers on my dad's side are dead. Okay. And also my mom's dad is dead, I think. Yeah. Because I've never met him before. Mm. Now. Yeah, on my, uh, on my side, all my grandparents are dead. So I got to meet my mom's mom. I've never met my grandpa from my mom's side. And I got to meet my, my grandfather from my father's side. But he died when I was very young. I think I was six years old or seven years old. But I still remember him so well, vividly well. And my grandmother, so, so my mom's dad, died recently. So... Um, so I got to know her all my life. She's just like my second mom, you know, she really uh, looked after me and my siblings. So yeah, so uh, unfortunately, I personally, I don't have any grandparents anymore. So yeah. So if you still have them, cherish them, go see them, go visit them, spend quality time with them, tell them that you love them, listen to their stories, you know, just just do it because, um, yeah, I mean, they're not eternal, neither are we, but yeah, grandparents are blessings. So please make sure you go see them. So let me know in the comments below, when was the last time you saw your grandparent? Oh, my grandmother is the only grandmother in my life. You okay. guess the only grandparent. Mm -hmm. So I love her so much. It's been a while since I saw her. So it will be so nice if I just appraise her. She has no idea. 
here. I haven't even called my relatives apart from one cousin because mm-hmm. I suspect they will tell her mm-hmm. and it will ruin the surprise. I'm only crossing my fingers and hoping that I find her. You know, I don't find she's traveled or anything. So stay tuned in. I can't wait for you guys to tell me whether I look like her. Oh, yeah. And yet today it's very easy to know if she's home or not because everybody nowadays have phones. Um, and so I remember back in the days before we traveled, we had to send somebody or an, a letter like two weeks in advance. So and then, the, you know, and so just to inform people that we're coming over in a month or so. So and on the specific date. So today it's quite easy to know where people are but when it's a surprise then you don't really want to ruin it but yeah you can like she said i think she she got to see with her cousin and her maybe her aunts or something so it's much easier today or not let me know what do you guys think about your grandparents when is the last time you saw your grandma or your grandpa Mm. leave a comment and let me know and what do you love most about your grandparents so for my grandma and she's so loving like she's so loving and she's so hardworking. Mm. and the thing about my grandma she doesn't even know her age like she can't remember when she was born she's that old but we all suspect she's over 90 years old yeah 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 yeah. that's that's another thing uh personally to answer your question miss trudy what I loved most about my grandmother, so that's my father's um, mom, is the fact that we could sit for hours just talking and listening to her. Sometimes she would repeat the same things over and over again, but it was so nice just listening to her and you know and sharing with her. She w- there was no um, boring moment with my grandma. And so from my mom's side, because I just got to know her mom, I used to love the times you would just sit, um, you know, go visit and just, she would cook some very nice porridge for us, show me how to cook. And, you know, we used to go and garden together. So it was a um, nice exchange with my, you know, with my grandparents. So my grandfather, I never got to meet one of them, but from my, I was very young. So I wish, I, the only memories I remember is every time he would come over, he would come with a treetop. I don't know if you guys remember the treetop drink, you know, and some biscuits. So that was like every time, each time he would just come and bring those uh, with him to, you know, to come visit us. So, yeah, that's what I remember. And the same thing, we have no idea how old my grandmother is. My dad today has no idea the exact date, you know, you know, that he was born. He knows the year but not the month and the day because back in the day there were no registers and uh you know pe- and, and then most women used to give birth uh, back in the countryside and so they would just give birth and they had the middle wives in the village and that's it so there were no like um registers back in the day so most people the older generation in africa don't really know uh their ages and when they were born so we just approximately just can tell uh in relation to their children um you know so yes i i get you miss trudy i don't know guys i don't want to talk too much stay tuned in yeah. um i think it's gonna be a really really, really good surprise okay. so yeah um i'll see you guys soon let's go <laughs> guys guys you know before a long journey you have mm. to make sure the car is good to go right. so if you are living here i don't know how much fuel it's gonna take me from here to where we going <laughs> i just love how natural this lady is she, i just love her there is something about her that she's a unique kind of person in my I mean, from my point of view, from what I see, uh, she looks to be so natural. So let me know if you would like me to react to more of her videos because she looks to be very natural and she's just, she just goes with the flow, you know. And yeah, right now she had no idea where she was going. But yeah, but you know, Kirinyaga. So I am from Kirinyaga as well. So that's where my, uh, my that's my countryside, my shags like we say uh, back in Kenya. So that's my shags as well. So I'm just curious to see how it goes. Oh my goodness, I just, uh, I love this already. If you're going to Kirinyaga, then you're my girl. So let's go. And yes, make sure everything is ready. The tires, the oils, everything. So I think, I think yeah, 2K is enough. So we're gonna just put 2K fuel. And if not, we'll fill up on our way back. So you guys can see it's almost empty. Huh. Guys, so we've stopped over here at the petrol station to fuel, and of course, you know, the engine is being checked to make sure everything is perfect. I won't lie to you guys, 
I really don't know much about cars. My brothers do almost everything for me. Mm. You see, he's putting water here. Apparently, we needed more water. I never had the chance. I never really had the chance for because I'm the eldest of four children. So, I, uh, and so <laughs> I really never had the opportunity to have someone show me these things. And the times that I've had a problem with my car, it's a stranger who showed me how to, you know, how to change a wheel, how to check your oil engine, how to put in the, you know, the soap for cleaning the windows and stuff like that. So you're very lucky, Miss Trudy, that they got to show you, but the disadvantage is then you never really know uh, how to do it until it happens to you and they're not there for you. So, <laughs> so all the best, but you should have done all these things before you left, right? I mean, just sooner or was it like this a last minute thing? I might put water where the fuel to go, you know, things like that. I don't want to make such errors, but I, I think I need to educate myself more about those things. So, oh, you only want your saboni? Oh, so you shouldn't just put like the magic magic, like when I got a saboni, you don't go to TV, ni 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 ni, see ya. Right. Well, I, I don't know if that's good for, I. Pro, it's probably good as well. But you also have like liquids that you can buy at the supermarket and they're not expensive at all that are already made. So that's what I get for my car. They're ready made. So you just have to put in there and you're good to go. So, yeah, I know back it, my parents did that as well. It was just plain water uh, just to clean. But it, it works, too. I don't know if you really need the soap, but I think you shouldn't put like um liquid soap in the water then put it in the i don't know i don't know if it works let me know in the comments below if it works so maybe it's more economical have you learned something may have leave a comment and let me know yeah and you only need it oh cool land ah yeah we think i'm dumb i have a kind i don't know much and that's what happens when you are last born your brothers do everything for you Cool and Kosawa. Woo! We're good. I stopped the engine. Yeah. I feel like this is important because I'm traveling. I should have done this sooner, but then this ah. was so abrupt, okay. you know. This is how you check your engine. Last minute stuff. Wait. It's a bit low. It's a bit low. Can you take me to Kirinyaga and bring me back? Half a liter. And how much is half a liter? Oh yeah, that's not expensive. It's not. I put up it up. Two plus two. Two hundred and forty. Yeah, but you're talking big money. <laughs> Where is the humility there? <laughs> but yeah, for real, it's not expensive. It's not expensive at all, you know. Two hundred and thirty bob, surely. Humility left the chat. <laughs> Oh my goodness, humility left the chat. Exactly, humility left the chat. Like, what? Just okay, top it up. Oh wow, that's a nice one. Let me let me know in the comments below um, if you like that. That was a nice one. I don't know, I think it must be um, a Trudy's camera guy or the editor or something. So, yeah, all oh, right, okay, yeah, humility left the chat. <laughs> nice. Okay, now I'll be a little bit more confident when I'm on the road. I think. Elder brothers and siblings in general, like big brothers and big sisters, should, should stop doing everything for their younger siblings. Because now you see what happens when you are alone, you know. Right. Senior. Yeah. Oh, so the engine oil is put there, but then checking is here. Yeah. Oh, guys, did you know that? Mm -hmm. How do you know the engine oil is okay? If, if this one, uh -huh. it's not it's low it's not okay yeah you have different levels exactly so the upper one is when it's okay and then the, the at the bottom it's when your oil is not good enough okay. and if it's here it means it's okay it's okay. okay so now we check we see yeah. oh perfect now it's okay yeah good work yeah. <laughs> now we can go we can travel I miss 
home, Nivers. Oh my goodness. I miss home. Yes, shopping time. Every, I think it's every African, but let me just talk for Kenyans because that's what I saw my parents doing. That's what we do as well. Is every time you go to see uh, people up country, you must buy something, be it up country or whatever. You have to take something uh, with you because you're going, first of all, it's a surprise. So you don't know, they probably don't have something, to, you know, prepared for you guys. So yeah, you must take something and it has to be oil. So everything that you, you need to, you need to cook something. It has to be oil. So flour or rice. Um, and then vegetables, all that stuff, they, they already have them in the, you know, in the farm, in the farm. So that's okay. But, but it has to be, it has to be that. But you see, it's different in the West because you just take a bottle of wine or a dessert. Okay. But because you also tell people that you're going. So it's, it's different. So, but that's a ritual. It's a ritual. You have to do that before you go see people. According to the African culture, it is important to, you know, go with something when you're yeah. visiting someone, especially elderly people. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're trying to do, okay? <laughs> so I don't know, what, 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 is, what should I shop for my grandma? I know she loves chapati. Mm. Chapati and bread. Ooh, she loves bread, blue so I'm thinking. Exactly. And if you're sleeping over, you must take uh, bread and candy for the kids in the village. So, yeah, exactly. Guys. <laughs> That's a good question. I know today you have different varieties, but back in the days we only had the eggs for the the chapati flour, and also the jogo for the um for the ugali. So I I can see the different salt and the packaging is so beautiful today. Wow. Okay. So let me know in the comments below if you're from Kenya, what's your favorite Ugali um, brand and also the chapati brand. Is it uh, Dobu? Is it Ajab? Which one do you okay. use? Leave the comments. Let me take two different ones. And also Ugali. Ugali. Which Ugali do you use to make Ugali? Mm. Me, Ella, my favorite is uh, uh, okay, my aunt really loves Raha Premium, but and I miss. Someone, my friend also loves her taste, but we've been using Jogo forever, and then yeah. again, yeah, back in the days, yeah, we had hostess and Jogo, those two. When is this expiring? You can't go see my grandma without bread. Thank you, please. <clears throat> I agree with her, but um, I guess it's an older generation um, where there was some hostilities between tribes. So just for your information, uh, in Kenya, there are 42 tribes, 42, 43 tribes. And so and then you have, you know, like you have like two tribes which have like a big um, I mean, the, the population is bigger. You have the Kikuyus and the Luos. And for so many years, there's, there's always competition between the two tribes. Um, and, uh, and so I agree with her, but I feel today the younger generation uh, doesn't really care about, you know, about your tribe and stuff like that. But again, I would say during the elections, that's when the tribalism rises for some reason, because the competition between the different tribes and power, you know, power drives people crazy. So I agree with her, but I feel the younger generation is doing better today compared to uh, the older generation. I'm sitting with my Kikuyu relatives. I'm not trying to attack anyone. I'm just being real. 
like I'm sitting with my kids with relatives and they're telling me, oh, you know, Luas are like this, Luas are like that. Mm. You know, and then I do with my Luas cousins and they're like, oh, Luas are like, I mean, kids are like this, kids are like that, but not all of them, just a few, especially the mm. elderly ones. I think it's a kind of bad mentality that they used to have. Yeah. But right now, things are changing. My younger cousins are so cool. And then um, I'm actually not exactly happy to have to walk. I'm half cute, okay? Then my, my grandma, my dad's mom was half Luya, half Luo. Okay. So that makes me a third Luya. <laughs> so I feel like I'm a quarter Luya, I'm a third, what am I even saying? Luo, and then I'm. Okay, half. yeah, we, we get the picture. And um, that's an interesting mix, and that's when you you that's how you get to see that things have really changed. Because in the past, a Kikuyu had to get married to Kikuyu, a Lua to a Lua, a Luya to a Luya, and so on and so forth. So when you have this um, inter-tribal marriages, I don't know if that's right, that's correct, that's accurate. But when you have those inter-tribal marriages, it means that things are changing and. And it's a very uh, positive sign. And so, wow, Miss Trudy, you're, yeah, I understand why you can become the president of Kenya because you can represent um, a large variety of, you know, of tribes in Kenya. So, yeah, go for it. So, I'm basically a Kenyan cocktail. Okay, what yeah. What you're looking at right now is Kenyan. <laughs> Humility has left the chat again. <laughs> But you're right. I, I like the, I, I love your attitude. I love just how you're right. You're right. So love it. Like talk about, you know, wanting the best for me. I feel like I'm competing for myself. I want the best for my country. I'm going right. to bring change. Plus, people want to feel represented. You know, I'm going to represent the women. I'm going to represent all the tribes. So yeah. Can you guys relate? Leave a comment. The next day. Tribalism has really reduced in our country. I'm proud. <laughs> yeah, she keeps going and going and going. Yeah, okay. These days, the younger generation, no one cares about the tribe. We are all Kenyan at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Right. Drop a comment and let me know. And also, guys, let me know what is the one thing that you always do before you travel. You know, us guys, we usually, the night before, we sleep quite early. And then also, we cook. Uh, so that when we get where we are getting, at least we have food to eat. So we cook things like chapati, even meat. So that that day you don't have to go to a hotel when you get to the house. And also you don't have to start cooking afresh because you're probably tired. So yeah, let me know. What yeah. is it? Personally, what I do um, is when I'm traveling, I... I'm a bit anxious, but it depends. If I'm, if I'm traveling abroad and I'm traveling elsewhere, like when I'm traveling back home to Kenya, I'm... Re- too anxious to eat to do anything i pack my bags uh weeks in advance like a week or two you know ahead so i don't forget anything and so everything that's already packed nobody has to touch it because i have children so they're always like picking clothes in the you know in the suitcases but you don't just touch it and also um but when i'm traveling inside the country then the day before no just normal just sleep normal just make sure that uh the bags are packed and also i have water i guess that's all but i think my when i'm traveling very far international that's when i'm a bit anxious and yeah i i just don't like it but yeah which one you guys have when you travel with your family mm-hmm. yeah hey. and, and the same thing just let me know in the comments what's your ritual what do you do uh, are you anxious when you're traveling? Let me know in the comments below. Three hours later. Oh. Guys, apparently we have a puncher. So. Oops. <laughs> Oops. So you did servicing, but you didn't do the tires? Oh my goodness. But may, that can happen on the road sometimes. Uh, maybe you, you know, you, you, um, the wheel just went over something, but it depends where. But yeah, oh my goodness, that's horrible. I had a feeling something is wrong with this tire, and then it was at 13 and it's usually 35. So I'm thinking, this is what we do. The devil is a liar, man. Come rain, come sunshine, I have surprised my grandma. So apparently, doing this helps you see where the problem is. You are big. Oh my god, guy, that's big. What? That's so big. This is what we like to do. Oh, is he pouring water on the tire just to know where the, the puncture is? 
Oh, that's a nice, uh, that's a nice technique. I didn't know that. So I've just learned something. Okay. All right. But changing the tire is not difficult because you m must and you should always travel with a spare wheel. So I hope she has a spare wheel because otherwise if they have to change the tire, it's, it's more expensive and, you know, always have a, a you know, uh, an, what do you call it? Um, um, an extra tire in your car. Look at how beautiful she is. Oh my goodness. Mm, she is so beautiful. She's classy. She's she just looks, you know, natural and she's she looks great. He has to fix the tire. Yeah, man, the devil is a liar. You know, when you're trying to do good things and then bad things happen, the devil is like, damn, Judy, why are you going to see? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, so as you can see, on my, um, on my right oh. is a rice plantation. Oh. A lot of rice in Kenya. Come. I think this must be the Mwea rice plantation. And that's what I was, I said in one of my other videos. It's unfortunate that we still import rice and yet we make rice in the country. So it's, it's a pity. So let's support our local farmers by buying local, um, you know, food stuff, produce, call it, whatever you call it. <laughs> but yes, so this must be Mwea because if she's going to Kirinyaga, that's, yeah, that's Mwea um, rice plantation. Yeah. I went so many times to Kurinyaga, I remember that. Oh yeah, how many kilometers again uh, is it from Nairobi to Kirinyaga? Um, I have, I don't remember. I think it must be like 500, 400, 500 kilometers. So let me know in the comments below if you know how many kilometers uh, it is from, you know, because I just got there. So it must be like three hours drive, four. Okay, oh, so YouTube is in the family. You can tell there's some jeans, you know, they look, you know, they look alike. The hair is nice. She's, she looks pretty as well. The, you know, the dress is nice. Okay, okay. That's my home right there. Oh, Jengas. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, Miss Trudy, if you watch this video, just to let you know that you and I are from the same uh, shags, from the same countryside. And it's it's interesting to see. And I'm excited for this video. I just, uh, I can't wait to come back home and go visit again. I always, 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 always go back to my shags every time I come home. So we had apparently we got lost. I mean, no one knew the way at all, at all. So we had to call my aunt who just kept with us. Okay, hello, auntie. And um, she's left my grandmother in the house. At least now I know my grandmother's mm -hmm. in the house, and she has no idea that we are going. to <laughs> you come here, Jojo? Hey! 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 Hey!
<laughs> yeah, so that's, they're talking in Swahili. So Swahili is uh, the national language in Kenya. So for those of you who don't know. Yay! Guys, so it's going to be a really good surprise. So and by the way, uh, you were so lucky, Miss Trudy, because there was, it was in a rainy season. Because I remember the times we went to Kirinyaga in a, during a, rain, a rainy season. It was horrible. We were stuck in the mud. We had to push the car. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes we just leave the car on the, on the roadside and then come back the next day, you know, or something. Or just call my cousins to come help us push the car. Oh, my goodness. So, you're, it's a beautiful day. So, um, driving looks smooth, you know, which is not always the case. <laughs> and then, you guys, this environment is so refreshing. It's, it's literally a breath of fresh air. Very different, very green. So, I feel so good to be here. Yeah, I feel it's a break I needed, and yet I didn't even know it. Yeah. So stay tuned in. We are about three minutes away from my grandma's house. Guys, guys, guys. So we are finally here. I think my grandma will be so shocked. I hope she doesn't come out before us. What's happening? Ah, what's happening? Stop here. Because they're going to watch us. her grandma how young she still looks i wonder how old she is uh she said 90 no way what for real black dot crack <laughs> she's she's in her 90s are you sure about that because she doesn't look 90 at all you know look at how she's still bending oh my goodness okay well she doesn't look 90 at all <laughs> oh, so Miss Trudy, her name is Gertrude, so that's where Trudy comes from, right? Let me know in the comments below if Gertrude is Trudy. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense, but just confirm in the comments below. It's so nice to see Shosho. You know, that's how we say grandma in Kikuyu. It's Shosho. So she's our Shosho as well. I hope you can share. your accent miss trudy i love it um and so so you know uh you know we talked about the different uh tribes in kenya and then the kikuyus depending on where you go they have an accent so so i mean they're different kikuyu accents so kirinyaga they have also a very different accent from somebody from nyeri from kiambu from yeah so it's interesting to hear you know though i love the kirinyaga accent it's really nice <laughs> okay yeah but you see that's what we're saying like you know when you go see people it's nice to bring them stuff because they they're not prepared and probably don't necessarily have the means um to buy stuff and just a way of just you know appreciating the them hosting you so yeah, so, but uh, interesting accent, Miss Trudy. You're trying, you're trying. Good job. <laughs> Even Shosho is like, just like, what? What are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, no, 
surprise was surprised. Like, yeah okay yeah oh so cute oh my goodness she reminds me so much of my grandma you know we would teach her some shang or some you know some thing that she would like what are you talking about it was so funny and you know so ah uh, it's a blessing it's a true blessing you know for those of you who still have your grandparents cherish them cherish them for real it's a blessing and you look at how happy she is just to, you know, to know that, you know, um, Miss Trudy and her cousin came to see her. She's so excited to, you know, that people are thinking of, you know, of her. So, good. <laughs> oh, you see? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Guys, meet my oh, grandma. No. Do we look alike? Oh. Leave a comment and let me know. Also, let me know where is your grandma? Which part of Kenya or which part of, of Africa is your grandma? And when is the last time you saw your grandmother? Mm. We haven't seen her recently. We can import her. Oh. Me, I'm just going to be chilling with my grandma this week. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you love this episode. Thank yeah, look at how young she looks. I can't believe she's 19. Wow. You know, this is uh interesting. Tune in for more videos with my grandma. Leave a comment. Let me know what video would you like to see me doing with my grandma. Okay, and also don't forget to tell us if you look alike. I guess you look alike. I love it. So to answer your question, yes, you look alike. Yes, you do. Hundred percent. Um, there are so many traits that you you know you, you the fa the 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 shape of the face, uh, the nose as well, uh, the cheeks. You actually have the same. So you look more like your grandma I have not seen uh, from your mom's side but yeah definitely 100% you look like her thank you so much for watching remember everything is possible you just have to believe in yourself and also my cousin because my cousin we all three look alike drop a comment <laughs> yeah so for the cousin a little bit less maybe just the nose um the features are a bit different, uh, you know, with your cousin. But yeah, yeah, why not? And yeah, I wanted to talk about the the tea. That was like the best thing that I love, um, you know, about the Kenyan tea is on Felic. It's so good. The milk, you know, just straight from the cow. And yeah, so let's look at the tea again. Um, okay. And also don't forget to tell us if you look alike. It's really <laughs> I love you so much for watching. Remember, everything is possible. You just have to believe in yourself. Yeah, there goes the tea. Yeah. Mmm. It's like the best tea. So for those of you who don't know, uh, in Kenya, we make like, uh, we mix a tea. Uh, well, sorry. We mix milk, water, and black tea. And add some sugar for those who like sugar. But it's like the best tea I've ever taken. And I've, I, each time I go home, I always take loads and loads and loads of tea. So liters and liters really literally i mean the tea is just so good with the cream mm, so good so and also my cousin because my cousin we all three look alike drop a comment <laughs> yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you miss trudy for taking me back to my shags uh, and so I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And so please, please make sure you subscribe as well and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. And so, yeah, so just support a girl so it can just push me to make more videos and motivate me even more to bring to you more videos. So thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.